here, but is it strict enough? A very good question, my capacious kumquat. A very good question. You know, I really hate it when those people sing at all. So let's just make it no singing period. Today's new rule. There will be no singing from morning until night and from night until morning. That is my word and that is the law. By the order of His Imperial Excellency, etc., etc., etc. This rule will keep them quiet so I can at last have some peace. From now on, only I shall sing. <laughs> Must not sing, must not dance, must not laugh or lose your pants. That's the rule, that's the law. Not allowed to say ha ha. If you do, night or day, woe is you, you have to pay. Ahem. One would think you could get a little law passed around here without such a big fuss. Come, darlings, it's time for our mud baths. Before I leave, though, one more piece of business. Here are the names of those who already broke the rule today. When it is dry, go read it to the villagers. This is the worst rule yet. Look, he's even fined the cook just because he sang while feeding us our breakfast this morning. It's just not fair. Remember what you told Dongwa. It is not for us to say what is fair or unfair. It is just our job to write it down. After all, we are only cats. We cannot change the world. We're not helpless just because we're cats. We can change the world. How am I going to get down? I have to jump. This is not good. Hmm. Now it says there will be singing from morning until night and from night until morning. Wow, this is great. Singing all day long. This could be a good thing after all. Uh-oh. I've got to get these paw prints off of here. I've got to get out of here. Now I see you've really gotten yourself in trouble. Foo-foo, you found me. Wait a minute. I thought you couldn't see so well. I can see better upside down. And I can also see that you are, once again, a mess. So, what is it this time? Ink. Ugh. Can you fly me to the pond to get cleaned up? Ink? Ink? <laughs> ink doesn't come off with water, especially this ink. You better get used to those spots, because they're not going to go anywhere. Uh-oh. Oh, dear, I am in so much trouble. Think of it as a fashion statement. Not just for that. When I fell on in the ink pot, I messed up one of the magistrate's rules. If he finds out what I've done, he'll put me out on the street. He'll put our whole family out on the street. I heard my mom say that to my brother today, and he was only mouthing off. <laughs> hey, you, take it easy. Don't fall apart on me. Let's get out of here! Well, now you've gone and done it! You are gonna be in so much trouble! Thanks for the support, Dongwa. Oh, sorry, but how... what... I mean... How did you get like this? I... I fell into the ink pot. You what? Well, you see... <laughs> Mama and Bob are gonna be so... Hey, Sagwa knows she's in trouble. And I'm gonna help her solve her little dilemma. In the meantime, you are making much too much noise! 
Noisy, noisy, noisy. It won't do us any good to draw attention to this little mess. And I need some peace and quiet to think and work out a plan. So why don't the two... I know. Leave. I can't wait to tell everybody how ridiculous you look all covered in ink. Dongwa, don't say anything to anybody. Our whole family could get in trouble because of what I've done. Okay, okay, okay. But you owe me one. Will you please get out of here? All right, all right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Quiet at last. Uh, now, where was I? The plan. What am I going to do? Oh, yes, the plan. Now, let's see. If we just... Two minutes late. Get the scroll with the new rules, take it into the village square, and read it to the people. Now! Hmm. Sagwa, keep calm. I'm going to fly down to the village and see what's going on there. I'll be back with a report before you know it. Jai Jin, my friend. Bye. Of His Imperial Excellency, I hereby decree that his word shall become law, and that the law of the land is that there will be singing from morning until night and from night until morning. It's true, it's true. See right here, the people must sing all day long. <laughs> What's this? Huh? What is all of this horrid, horrible, happy noise-making? <laughs> really, my dear, how dare they disobey your rule? Yes, how dare they? Thirty-one, four hundred thirty-two, four hundred thirty-three, four hundred thirty-four. <laughs> four hundred thirty-four, my dear, a new record. We shall be wearing clothes of gold by this time tomorrow if all this singing keeps up. It's almost enough to make one like music. Why are all these people singing? Why are you singing? Didn't you show them my new rule? But. Most Honorable Magistrate, this is your new rule. What do you mean this is my own rule? Who did this? Yes, who did this? What are you smiling at? How can you even hear yourself think? But listen, my wondrous water lily. Listen to those beautiful words. They are singing my praises. In all my life, my people have never said a kind word about me. Why, my dear, in 30 years, I've never before seen you cry. Well, in 30 years, my people have never called me kind. Imagine that. My kindness has caused them to sing. How very beautiful. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, so you're the one who changed my rule. Mama Meow, Baba Meow, come here quickly. <gasps> Look what your kitten has done. Because of what Sagwa has done, I want you to write three new rules. For the first new rule, 
I take back all the old rules. The people may now laugh and joke and dance and whistle from morning to night, from night to morning, whenever they desire. As to the second new rule, from now on, my village shall be open to all stray cats. And all cats shall eat delicious fish ah. every day, as much as they wish. As to the third new rule, from now on, all Chinese cats shall have dark faces, paws, and tails in honor of the greatest of all felines, Sagwa of China. <laughs> <laughs>